Welcome to Getting Started Video of Time Tracker. In this presentation, we will take a quick tour of Time Tracker application. This is a beginner's guide to help you start using Time Tracker. In this presentation, we will begin with the startup wizard, where we will enter all the master data for a quick start. We will also enter project time sheet and understand some more features. After you install Time Tracker, double click the icon to open the application. This is the login screen. Trial version has default login and password. Click Login. Click I agree to continue. This is the initial startup wizard, which would appear only for the first time when you log into the application. The wizard assists you to define master data so that you can quickly start entering time sheet. These details can be later modified from the respective master. Click Next. Let's start with creating users. Enter each employee name in a new line. By default, login IDs for these four users will get created. Login name and password would be first name of each employee. You can change these credentials later. To know more on creating users, refer the description given below. Click Next. Reporting Manager would have authority to view and approve time sheet. Select Reporting Manager. Click Next. Here you can define projects. If you are a project management company working on various projects, defining project will enable you to track the overall project time. You can ignore this if you wish to track time spent only on task. Let's assign Project Manager and add projects. Click Next. You can define the task here. Some predefined tasks are already added in the list. You can also select the task relevant to your business. Or you can also add or delete the task. Click Next. Select Weekly Holidays. To accurately capture holidays and time sheet, you can also maintain and track public holidays, which can be defined in Holiday. Click Next. Leave management can be done in Time Tracker. Managing leaves enables you to properly plan and align resources. Here you can add or modify the entitled leaves if required. Click Next. So, we are through with the wizard. Now we can immediately start entering time sheet. Click Finish. This is the main screen. In Masters, you can add or modify the details that we entered in the wizard. Let's check the employee master. These are employees we added through the wizard. You can add more employees or change the details. To view employee details, select employee from the list. The details are displayed here. In the others tab, you can put cost per hour. This is required to calculate project cost. In project you can assign projects. In the task, you can assign task to employee. The leave tab allows you to allocate leaves to employee. The last tab is Login. Here you can create username, password, and select employee profile for logging into the application. Now, let's begin with entering Time Sheet. Time Sheet enables you to accurately record time spent on various tasks or projects. It becomes easier to identify resources utilized and actual time spent for the task and overall project. Let's check how to enter time sheet. Go to My Time Sheet Details. This is time sheet. Here, we will record the time spent during the day. Select the time slot. For example, let's take 10.30 to 12.30. Now add the details of task done. 
Right click. Select Add. This is Details screen. Let's select the project that we are working. And the task. Put a brief description about the task. And click Save. Similarly you can add multiple tasks. So, this is how simple it is to enter a timesheet. The calendar allows you to navigate between the days. Leave or day off taken can also be captured. You can also attach documents with the timesheet. The summary shows synopsis of time spent during the day. Month view gives you a quick summary of time spent during the month. Let's check the data in month view. In month view you get the overview of time spent on each day during the entire month. Double click on the day to view details. Now let's check the data in reports. Reports give you the insight of overall time spent on various projects or task. The reporting tool offers flexibility to perform operations such as group, filter, aggregate, and sort. The data in report can be exported to Excel for further visualization and analysis. To view reports, click Report. The entire data entered in Time Tracker is available in Reports. Select Report to view the details. The functionality of Report is simple, similar to Excel. You can filter, group, and aggregate data. This data can be exported to Excel. You can use this data to build custom reports, pivots, etc. Now let's check the graphical reports. MIS. The graphical data in MIS is useful for quick project and task analysis. Let's go to MIS. Here you can quickly analyze the project or task performance. Understand project or task that are time consuming. You can zoom these charts for a clearer and better view. And export charts in PDF format. Menu structure. Organized menu structure in Time Tracker provides easy navigation and quick access to information. The accessibility to menu options are based on role of user. Let me explain it to you in detail. The My Menu option contains the information that solely belongs to the user who would be entering the timesheet, or the user who has logged in. This means he or she will be able to see only his data. The project manager will have access to the team's timesheet, reports etc. He or she will also have access to additional reports on project costing. The reporting manager will have access to view timesheet reports of the members directly reporting to him. Reporting manager also has rights to approve timesheet. The organization access can be given to a superior authority who would have complete access of the information in the system. The admin access is for system administrator who would have control over the administrative tasks such as user creation, access rights, backup and other configurations. Time Tracker safeguards your data within built, backup, and restore facility. It prompts you to backup when you exit the application. Time Tracker has other additional features such as electronically submit and approve timesheet, send leave request and approval. Project managers can compare actual cost versus estimated cost. Manage project expenses and approvals. Maintain holidays across multiple locations. Access control to define user rights and privileges. With Time Tracker, you have option to host your data in cloud or in your private network. Well, this is it about Time Tracker. Hope you find this product useful for your business. To download and to know more. About Time Tracker, visit
spinso.com